In this video, I'm gonna show you how to scale your ads. If you're an online coaching business, agency owner that wants to start a coaching offer, or maybe you're just a complete beginner and you're like, Brandon, I wanna get my first few clients from ads. I'm gonna show you exactly how we went from making $10,000 a month doing organic marketing to scaling to $150,000 to $200,000 a month in my online coaching business every single month for the last 14 months. And I'm gonna show you how to avoid all the pitfalls that I myself made when scaling ad campaigns. So if you're going to scale ads, you have to know where you're going to send the ad traffic to. And if you followed me for any time at all, if you're completely new here, we recommend really two funnels. Uh, we call this one our IG growth, right? Funnel. And then we have another funnel uh, we recommend called the YouTube growth funnel right, where we run ads on YouTube uh, to get people interested in buying our stuff and they then watch videos like this and decide to turn into customers, okay? So in order to scale ads, uh, there's a lot of people that are using this word scaling, scale uh, as a buzzword and it's the name of one of our programs, but most people aren't truly ready to walk this path and achieve this result because there's nothing they can scale, right? So before you can scale, you have to have a funnel that works. If you had a funnel that took strangers on the internet into seeing an ad, into becoming a follower of your audience and your content, and then converted them into calls, which then you are able to convert into clients, you would never have to wonder where you're getting your next client from again. And trust me, before I figured this stuff out, guys, like I was stuck for so long. I was, uh, you know, scared some months on how I was going to pay bills. I never knew where my next coaching client was coming from. I just thought if I posted more content and if I had more conversations with people who weren't even interested, that magically I would get more clients. And there's really two types of people that watch my videos. The first is the person who's beginning and you're like, oh my gosh, What's a funnel? How do I make this work? And the other, you're doing 30 to 100,000 a month, even 200,000 a month, and you're like, Brandon, I wanna implement one of these funnels and learn how to scale them. So I'm gonna try and speak to both people in one video. But essentially, if you have a proven system to turn $1, uh, let's say, worst case scenario, and most people lie about this kind of stuff, but let's say you can turn $1 into uh, even three, to $10, you are basically entering the mode of multiplying money. That means if you could spend $10,000 on ads, you could literally make anywhere from 30 to uh, $100,000, right? Depending on a couple different things, how good you are at sales, how good your offer is, um, how, um, you know, really those are the only two things I can think of. So how good is your content at nurturing? How good is your offer and how good are you guys at sales? And if you get those three skill sets down, ads supercharge your business because you're able to stop wondering how to get clients and you're able to start thinking about how to get more and how to serve them better. So if you're someone who doesn't have a funnel yet, what you need to do is pick a funnel, right? Uh, and let's say you're already making money on YouTube and you want to make money on IG or you're already making money on IG, you want to scale IG or you want to start YouTube. Nonetheless, pick one funnel to focus on at first. And what you're going to do is you're going to craft an ad that gets your ideal prospect, which you have to have a niche and then you have to make sure that niche has money to afford high ticket coaching or credit. And if you do that well and get them to become a follower on Instagram, you guys can have conversations, get them on calls, make sure they watch long form content before the sales call and then they will become clients, right? Or on YouTube, let's say you're doing the same thing. But nonetheless, you're like, hey Brandon, uh, I'm already at 10K a month, I wanna go to 30 to 50. So now that you have a winning ad and you're converting people, let's say last month, just throwing out random numbers, let's say you spent uh, $1,000 on ads and you're like, yo, Brandon, I cannot believe this. I spent so much money last month on ads, bro. You're not gonna believe it, a thousand bucks, right? And let's say that returned to you $4,000 uh, in coaching sales, right? This is the mistake I made at the beginning and most people make, right? What you do is you think, wow, 
I just profited 3K from this funnel. And then you go take that 3K and you buy a watch or something stupid, okay? And in reality, what you should do is you spent 1,000 and made 4,000. You should take this 4,000 and put it right back into the funnel, into the ads. So now you're gonna spend $4,000 in the course of however long you spent the 1,000. So you're gonna turn your ads up. And whenever you turn your ads up, a big mistake people make is they start scaling the one creative that worked. What I suggest is instead of touching this budget at all, once you get a winning ad, never touch the budget. Instead, what you should do to spend more money is launch two new ads and divide the budget amongst the two. Let's say you're spending 50 a day now on both of these, right? So that adds $100 a day. That's $3,000 a month plus your original thousand a month. Let's say you're at 30 a day on this one. So a big mistake people make is they say, okay, I wanna spend more money and they turn this up and then the ad actually starts doing worse. So then they're unable to scale. So what you actually need to do is scale your ads horizontally, right? So we spend $1,300 probably a day on ads and the top of funnel has a bunch of different 50 to $100 a day ads. And then we scale this way with DM ads. And then we scale out with retargeting ads. Right? So let's say you put the 4,000, you got a 4X ROI. Let's say you put it back in. Now you have 16K from that ad spend and you just had a 16K month. And you're like, yo, Brandon, I can't believe it. I did this just from watching your YouTube channel. Like some of our clients literally have. I would say when you have momentum is when you wanna hire a coach. You should just stop watching this video. Go ahead, click the link down below and book in a call. And we can totally help you, you know, ramp this up. Um, you know, like we have for some of our clients, obviously we can't guarantee anything, but uh, we've just seen it work so many times that if you have proven offers and so on, we can for sure uh, at least point you in the right direction based on what we've seen. And what I would suggest doing here is take, you know, 6K of that money and enjoy it and then turn your budget to 10,000 the next month, right? That should theoretically turn into, you know, 40,000. And this is based off of a 4X ROI. Some people uh, get way more. Some people get, you know, less, but ideally you're right there at, you know, 4X ROI. And let's say you had a $40,000 month, right? With ad spend, you're just going to keep doing the same thing. But this month you get to keep a lot more because we're only going to go to 15,000, right? So then you're able to profit quite a bit more money. And this is really where uh, I've seen like you need to be to start enjoying uh, the profit at a nice level and then 60,000. Right. And I've literally done this with several people. Uh, and then, yeah, the next month, let's say you want to go be more aggressive, spend 25 and have your first, you know, hundred K month. That is how it works, but you have to scale horizontally and then you have to add in retargeting ads to the funnel and then break those budgets up into $10 a day on a bunch of different creatives. And then you have a bunch of different follower ad creatives, a bunch of different DM ad creatives, same thing on YouTube. You get a winning YouTube ad, what do you do? Turn it up? Sure, you can on YouTube. Let's say it's a 200 a day, but I've found best is 100 a day. And then launch another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, right? And then up your posting frequency. So you're posting more. And that is exactly how you scale your ads, right? A lot of other stuff is gonna break when you do this though, because a uh, 40K a month coaching business is much different than a $4,000 a month coaching business. And so what you have to do is then you have to look at this, which is your team. So you've got you, the coach, right? Content and leader. And a 4K a month coaching business, right? You can easily do that, right? But what if it's 104K? You're gonna need help. You're gonna need a setter. You're gonna need a closer or two, let's say. You're gonna need a client success manager and probably uh, a VA, video editor slash social media manager. Um, and you know, you could even get more people on if, if you feel like you need it. But um, so that's when some of these problems start to happen. Let's say you get banned on Instagram. This happens all the time. Uh, not all the time, but more frequently than uh, you'd think, right? So one out of 100 probably get a message restriction or Facebook hates your ads. You're just dealing with platforms. So what you wanna do is have 
different platforms. So once you start making 40K a month, I'm gonna tell you to actually break the spend into 6K on Instagram, 4K on YouTube. So now you've got two funnels running and just building you an insane uh, amount of attention. And again, the better you are at sales, the better you are at setting, the better you are uh, at building really good offer, the better you are um, at all these different things, follow-ups, re-offers, affirm, it, it really boosts your ROI. So again, uh, this is just a rough draft on how I'd scale the ads, but literally if you broke this into months, I mean, if you followed this plan, theoretically, this could happen. doesn't happen for everyone, but this is what I've done to get all the case studies that we do have and um, what I would do if I had to start over from zero. So again, you need a winning ad, a winning funnel. Once you have that, you need to start scaling that funnel. Once you get closer to 10,000 a month in spend, you just switch and have two funnels. That way you're multi-platform. And if anything ever breaks, you're fine. As you start making more money, you need to bring on more people to automate the work. So then you can spend even more and not have to take all your sales calls, set all those people and so on. So if you're an online coach, like, yo, Brandon, this makes total sense to me. I want to scale with ads. Again, we can never guarantee results, but I can guarantee you this. If you book in a call down below, it'll be super valuable. We'll just kind of walk you through where you're at and the path we've seen people take to get where you want to go. And if we can't help, still, it'll be a super valuable call. And if you're just like, hey, Brandon, I don't know uh, if it's worth getting on a call. I don't know if I have the money. Don't even worry about that. I would just hop on. We'll just chat with you, get us into where you're at, where you want to get to. We've got some really cool options to really just make this a perfect fit for you. 